आर जी एच प्राइम सेमी प्राइम और कॉम्पोजिट गैस The conventional method is dividing the given number by all possible numbers lesser than its square root. But it is actually a very tedious and a long calculative method. So here is a method which will help one to determine a prime, a semi-prime, or a composite number easily. Statement one. If n is an integer such that neither n minus one nor n plus one is divisible by six, then n is a composite number and not a prime number. Example: Let the number n be nine six three five one. Nine six three five one minus one gives us nine six three five zero. Now we divide it by six, gives us a decimal number. Further, we add one to n, divide the result by six, gives us a decimal number. Since neither n minus one nor n plus one is divisible by six, therefore n is a composite number and not a prime number. Statement two. If n is a prime number, then either n minus one or n plus one will be divisible by six. Example: Let the prime number n be nine six eight nine three. Subtracting one from n, dividing the result by six, gives us a decimal number. Next, we add one to n. Divide the result by six. We find we get a whole number. One of them is divisible by six. This holds true for all prime numbers. Statement three. If n is a prime number, then n raised to m plus one or n raised to m minus one. Will be divisible by six, where m is a any positive integer. Example: Let n, which is a prime, be nine six eight nine three. Let's take m as two. Hence, nine six eight nine three raised to two, subtracting one from n. Next, we divide the result by six, gives us a whole number. We add one to n, again divide the result by six, gives us a decimal number. One of them is divisible by six. This holds true for all prime numbers. Statement four: If n is an integer such that Either n minus one or n plus one is divisible by six, then n is either a prime or a semi-prime. Example: Let the number n be nine three six three seven. Subtracting one from n, dividing the result by six, gives us a whole number. Next, we add one to n. Divide the result by six gives us a decimal number. Since one of them is divisible by six, therefore n may be a prime. By the method stated above, one will find prime numbers, but in rare cases, semi-prime may be spotted, which may be eliminated by just seeing the number. For example, numbers ending with five are never prime. Example twenty five, ninety five, one one five, and so on. In cases where it is difficult to judge whether the number is a prime or a semi prime, the following method is included. 
n is equal to p into q where n is a semi prime number and p and q are distinct prime numbers whose product equals n now we apply the gold batch conjecture which states that every even number can be written as sum of two primes therefore p plus q is equal to 2n where n is average of p and q elimination of q from the two equation yields the quadratic form p square minus 2pn plus n is equal to 0 solving the algebraic expression further yields the solution p is equal to n minus root n square minus n second solution is q is equal to n plus root n square minus n Example 91 91 minus 1 gives us 90 dividing further by 6 gives us a whole number Next we add 1 to 91 divide the result by 6 gives us a decimal number Now 91 may be a prime or a semi prime Let's check 91 is equal to n Root of 91 gives us 9.539. We round it off and take it as 10. Further, we substitute it in the given formula. We find that P is equal to 7. Hence, 13 is equal to Q. Therefore, its factors are 7 and 13. Hence, 17, 7 into 13 is equal to 91. 91 is a semi prime number. To sum up, if n is an integer such that neither n minus 1 nor n plus 1 is divisible by 6, then n is a composite number and not a prime number. If n is a prime number, then either n minus 1 or n plus 1 will be divisible by 6. If n is a prime number, then n raised to m plus 1 or n raised to m minus 1 will be divisible by 6, where m is any positive integer. If n is an integer such that either n minus 1 or n plus 1 is divisible by 6, then n is either prime or semi prime. For all the statements above, prime numbers 2 and 3 are exceptions. For all the above statements, n minus 1 or n plus 1 can be divided either by 6 or by 4. If divided by 4, then only prime number 2 is an exception. Note that negative prime and positive prime generate exactly the same prime idol. I hope this will be helpful. Please share your comments.